Hello, so uh, this is a consultation white paper put out by the government on strategy for open digital ecosystems, national open digital ecosystems node. Um, I'll just show you where it is. It's on the MyGov website um, where um, there's a section on digital India and then See, inviting suggestions on strategy for national open digital ecosystems and there are details and of course the last day to participate is today uh, <laughs> which is when I am um, making this video I'm sorry for that so let's just read this uh, measure of um, Metis and other departments are working on enabling ecosystem to leverage digital platforms so transformative social economic and governance impact for citizen centric approach okay this is a good line um lives in this is um, uh, essentially uh, making sure uh, there is a lot of transparency a lot of uh, innovation digital these are all uh, things that may form the backbone of uh, our governance system tomorrow um, so they have come up with a white paper which shift from early approaches to digital governance it is able to design principles that can help realize the full potential of our digital ecosystems the final chapter white paper lists set key questions on which public consultation is on purpose of white paper is also public comments so comprehensive we would like to adopt a participatory approach uh facilitate analysis here yeah, because please mention page numbers in your feedback Compile and analyze feedback and structure man. And you more than one such to offer you may find you come in to type out your comments and separate document and upload the same. So if uh, I open this, this is what comes up. So this is a 43 page document, uh, so we can go through it fairly quickly. Um, so direction objectives, node, the new paradigm of Kotak, evolving paradigms, define benefits of node approach transitioning from go tech okay so essentially they think something was wrong with the way go tech was working all these days and that's why they're transitioning principles of design vibrant <laughs> vibrant community vibrant gujarat administrative notes of the future talent agriculture msme state size delivery conclusion okay so this will be a very quick run through we won't go through each and every sentence um, also probably there's a lot of uh, useless uh, boasting on what the government has done sector specific okay so uh, METI has been doing these things for um, uh, METI and NITI IOC they've been coming up with documents like this national digital blue uh, digital health blueprint um, uh, so all this stuff um, is probably coming together in this uh, node uh, my platform this approach it is also considered India enterprise while well, the first series uh, focus on understanding technology was practice known technology as uh, governance so this is very right. Uh, it's not just about technology at all. Sustainably and responsibly. Uh, personal data privacy, security risk management. So this is an introduction. So we can uh, of course expect all these words electronic consent framework the next step towards improving the lives of indian citizens is to build a robust node national open digital ecosystem by open and secure digital delivery platforms anchor by transparent governance mechanisms of course this is what we need uh, let's see uh, the devil is probably in the details objectives is to solicit public comment white paper highlights key elements of node uh, questions blah blah blah, blah. Uh, new paradigm evolving paradigm in 1990s ICT was uh, used 12.1 launch, launch national e-governance plan digital India 
India stack only in the last decade with the build of India stack and recent thinking on India has there been discussions around fundamentally rethinking how public service can be delivered using shared open and modular digital platform technologies that can okay mm -hmm. as if nobody had the vision <laughs> in the past it's only governments not having to the will power to get things done anyhow um, automation building ecosystem building systems and enabling ecosystems so automation was the first thing digitization two is digitization unified portals basic data analysis three is open interoperable digital platforms governance framework that set rules around platforms data privacy multiple parties analytics that continuously evolving that's great uh, piecemeal manner blah blah, blah. ISCTC open data modular architectures is like interoperability okay so essentially what they're saying is um, in this new approach uh, things will talk to each other one and uh, things will have a proper governance framework it won't be random departments deciding to do random things and uh, data sharing will be proper so essentially a comprehensive package is what they are talking about for classic examples UPI good re goods and services stacks network So UPI has given both vibrant community of interesting GSM platforms as will provide. Okay, uh, first of all, none of these talk to each other. Uh, unless, of course, they are collecting data based on Aadhaar and things like that and linking them together. I wouldn't call that uh, talking to each other, but okay, at least uh, they've just given an example. Defining node. Node can be defined as open and secure delivery platforms anchored by transparent governance mechanisms which enable a community of partners to unlock innovative solutions to transform societal outcomes. They were given a reference there. Let's see what term open and node refers to principles of openness, including but not limited to transparency, accessibility, interoperability, open APIs and standards and open source code where appropriate okay i don't know where it will be inappropriate however it must be noted that each node will have its own configuration and degree of openness of course that's what we are talking about <laughs> open but not open which may introduce certain limitations in order to adapt to specific context to mitigate potential risks of course i think it's risky at the core of delivery platforms the technology anchored by a robust governance framework and vibrant community of actors working together so delivery platform includes public digital infrastructure facility delivery of services model applications with open apis data registries and exchanges stacks which combine applications protocol registries and user solutions okay so this is the only thing that is technical or technological which is uh, and all these other things are uh, laws and rules and community of users uh, tech and the governance framework correctly no further not so these circles are just uh, random things these are three pillars everything should have a technology everything should have rules that are governing how it's uh, governed and of course uh, if you want uh, people using it then of course there's a community around it I, I don't know why they make it a concentric circle maybe design and uh, there is no reason why technology should be at the center of it if it's uh, citizen centric like they were talking about community should be at the center of it I mean that's how I would think about it anyhow every platforms comprise the tech component of a node mm. It's 
section four modular applications good data registries and exchanges good mm, centralizing everything combination of applications india stack health stack end user solutions okay this is just grouping together of whatever exists <coughs> there's no need to call it a I mean, of course, you can call it whatever you want, but it's just uh, grouping everything under one, uh, what is it called, delivery platform. Basically, the tech part of whatever you want. Uh, governance is uh, who consumes service, additionally openness of data. Not must have strong governance framework. Okay, these are all uh, uh, desirable things. Frameworks defining institution of home of platforms responsibilities and liabilities of ecosystem i don't know if they uh, later on in the document they define these frameworks but those regulations without definition i don't know what the point of this this thing is at all relation transfer policies sustainable finance modeling so th this is just mumbo jumbo on what is required builders public and private players and where citizen comes in okay end users Global citizens, the past been design, co creation of solution, okay. Hmm. Benefits uh, given the reinventing market models to create greater access for underserved populations, offering better pricing, of course, effectiveness in the delivery of public service. Okay, so uh, these are government. Uh, things government services that they were talking about in the beginning i don't know why they need to be reinventing market models for greater access to government services so things like health um, tax <laughs> if the government can't do it uh, i don't know why i don't know uh, let's see Key benefits that can be derived from adopting Seamless and consistent end user experience. Increase efficiency and reliability. Oh ho. So it will all depend on the tech part of it. I don't know how just hi by having a node approach, whatever they define it as, is going to increase the efficiency and reliability of service delivery. Uh, enhance transparency and accountability. Because if you, if you are committing to transparency through a set of policies, there would be enhanced transparency. Benefits for government bodies, improved ease of operations, removal of redundancies, uh, increased delivery, increased uh, transparency, savings, realization, decision making. These are all uh, desirable things. If, uh, it's already page 11, I don't know uh, where they're going to talk about the implementation. So automation, GoTech one, GoTech two, blah blah. This is the same thing we saw earlier. Leapfrogging model. Oh, 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 oh. Build from scratch. Uh, good news is the way of transition migratory approach to enable the creation of node. Okay. Banks illustration of the current state of e-transport mode. Transport registration driving online analytics accident. What is the circles? G two C. Okay, uh, they, what they probably meaning here is that these are all talking to each other. Um, and that's only the delivery platform. I don't know how it is node if uh, the transparency and the community things they talked about uh, is still not there. It's, I mean, by their own definition of node, let's go back and uh, uh, see. These are the, this is what uh, they call key components of node, right? Delivery platform, governance and community. 
So uh, laws and rules are gone because I'm account of the institution that I uphold these rules. Now where on earth is um, this NIC transport uh, having laws and rules that govern and uh, transparency and accountability and all that? Uh, I mean, uh, this uh, we know that uh, transport vehicle registration details are being sold by the government. Um, that's uh, privacy. <laughs> people people's data being sold by the government is uh, uh, how is it uh, protecting privacy or even security of uh, people I don't know uh, they just call something not so I think uh, there is essentially uh, what they're uh, what they want is only that uh, uh, center the circle in the center that's what they want the delivery platforms to be built where they can connect data together and all that these are all optional layers that's why they made it uh, layers outside outside you see uh, so that uh, once this is the, 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 this de this the design of this graphic itself is to uh, make people think that this is the most important thing and these are like external coverings and this is like the most uh, this is like even more external so if this is ready then this we can think of and then this we can think of that's what this graphic is supposed to make you think uh, these are actually three pillars. I don't know why they have not divided into three pillars. I mean, I know why they have not divided into three pillars because then um, people will realize, okay, governance is as important as delivery platform and community is as important as governance and delivery platform. Uh, anyhow, let's, uh, let's not give malintention without large amount of proof. Um, with the availability of digitized data and increased focus, See, they're only talking about uh, data analysis and things like that. I don't know where their uh, governing and community and all that is coming uh, for complete additionally. Of course, uh, by community, they mean uh, private uh, players uh, utilizing this data, uh, which is according to them community. So most for public service delivery. Okay, so guiding principles of node. Okay, I think uh, we are now going to the details. Um, be open and interoperable, make reusable, shareable. Blah, blah, blah. Again, they are talking about desirable things. Uh, uh, and I don't know if they have added where appropriate. <laughs> where here also. Uh, yeah i mean there's principles of not so principles are n not to be followed always right principles uh, the, the 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 word principle itself stands for uh, they are not rules they are uh, they are like use it to apply use it uh, to your uh, logic what you feel like is the right thing by applying these logic uh, principles you do that so like those Okay, again, um, I'm not going to go through all these principles. These are these are really nice principles. This, the, the question is, how is it enforced? And um, why are they calling it principle? Why is it not a, mm, you know, a requirement or a um, checklist or something like that? Principle, the word principle itself is uh, um, not, I mean, I, I don't, uh, I don't understand how we can demand accountability when something is just a principle. Um, also, um, make re so let's take this example: make reusable and shareable, incorporate more like first first elements in saving valuable time. Okay, this is a very stupid. Thing. Be open and trouble. Use and or build open channels, license database, and promote interoperable. Last thing is sponsor more policies of. Wait, 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 one second. It helps realize inter platform efficiencies, promotes competitive behavior, and guards against potential monopolies of unfair value capture. Hmm. 
so this potential monopoly is uh, the government is making itself a monopoly here that's not necessarily bad in a state uh, like india uh, but uh, this also opens up the uh, possibility of license raj and uh, you know registrations required for this and that and this and that so i don't know how open and interoperable actually comes out in practice Okay, insure secure. Okay, let's take this one. This is like really critical. Insure secure. Apply secure privacy by design principles. <laughs> so, uh, so this is why I say principles are uh, uh, bad word. So this is a principle: secure privacy by design. And uh, how do you know uh, something is uh, secure or private? Private. Uh, uh, you just look at the principle which it <laughs> with which it was developed. You do. You do <laughs> I mean, I can't uh, fail to bring up uh, Arogya Sethu being uh, called as privacy first by design uh, by all the creators. <laughs> I mean, if you have an uh, application that collects data and uh, uploads to a central server, how can it be privacy first by design? Who questions the design of the design? Uh, you can always say we 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 applied the principle of security and privacy but the question is how 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 do we evaluate uh your design um i mean applying a principle principle everyone has these principles everyone wants to make things secure and private end to end encryption data purpose specification collection limitation user consent frameworks i mean these are the things uh, these are not examples these are the these are the things that are mandatory to be um, put in put in space and this user consent frameworks which w what is given as an e three word uh, topic in an example this is what is actually the central um, thing in privacy so if if you are taking a meaningful consent from the user um, are you limiting the collection of uh, data these are the things that are uh, central to the success of whatever uh, they are trying to do here. You can't just uh, scoot over defining this and uh, assume that uh, people will just agree with their principles. Mm. Citizens can access the data by using digital ID to securing multi-factor authentication. Digital sir. Other players such as healthcare providers can only access the data with the citizens knowledge and consent again uh, i mean uh, um, this is national health stack they are talking about uh, citizens knowledge and consent this is how you know how this will happen uh, they'll have an application something called a consent manager um, if you remember uh, i mean if you if you use google pay or any of these upi apps this is uh, ask for money or uh, receive money you can uh, you can tap your friend's um, uh, name and say receive and put 100 and a pop up goes to the friend and it will say pay you 100 rupees question mark and then you press yes or pay and it asks you for your pin and sends your money across you know how many people have been cheated uh, uh, through that uh, people make spam calls and um, I mean um, phishing calls or what do you call it um, scam calls uh, tell you that you won 1 lakh rupees blah 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 these, these would be people who can't read who can't um, who don't understand the difference between send receive pay um, I mean it's it's easy to tell that people should be educated people should know but that's not how it happens and uh, when it comes to health and things like that what are you giving consent for there there are uh, there are uh, health record is uh, composed of a large number of things it starts from your name and it goes to as much details as the uh, you know uh, findings in your per rectal examination so what are you giving consent to how can you meaningfully give consent to share a data, share some data with uh, uh, insurance providers or pharmacists. Um, I mean, it's easy to assume that uh, 
if you think about uh, people in bangalore who are in uh, tech parks using this uh, we might assume that okay they may be able to figure out how to do it and all that but that's not really the way to approach something that the government is building for making citizens citizens uh, citizen centered thing uh, for the government i don't know data and driven development blah blah I'm just going to skip through these uh, principles because these are single point of accountability. Okay, having accountability is good. But what will they be accountable for? If third parties are uh, give, given access to things, um, do they take accountability for the third parties doing random things? So that will eventually become a certification slash registration licensing system. Separate accountable institution. Also, why separate institutions? If the if a ministry is setting this up, why can't a ministry be accountable? Establish rules of engagement. Rules of engagement. Yeah, see, this is what licensing system is about. Mm, three transparent data governance. Ensure. <laughs> mm. Adopt a suitable financing model. Ensure inclusiveness. Yeah, we know how uh, all the websites uh, of government websites. If you go and see, you'll see that uh, on the top right, they'll have always have this uh, accessibility. Um, l let me just open our website. I'll I'll show you. Uh, let's open MyGov itself. Uh, they will have a. Something called uh, see this is they're talking about accessibility and all they have here is uh, increased font size and let's see okay it works uh, up to this uh, but now I can't increase the font size anymore that's that's their accessibility I mean there are ridiculous websites uh, which talk about accessibility and uh, let's take Lok Sabha website uh, this is the website of Lok Sabha. Uh, the navigation of this website is so broken and uh, they are talking about e-readers uh, reader software for people who cannot see being compatible with uh, okay the website is not loading anyhow so essentially I mean it's easy to say these things but uh, implementing these are really difficult Facilitate participatory design and co-creation. Not even going to talk about this. Drive end user engagement. Be analytics driven and learn continuously. Uh, enable grievance redressal. Okay, why, uh, why, why, why do you they even uh, talk about this point when there is already? Okay, uh, it's okay to make it explicit, but. Uh, and they are already talking about transparency and accountability and uh, co-creation and all that. Grievance redressal is supposed to be part of it. Okay, I think the principles were the central part of uh, their consultation paper. Probably we'll have to write that data is insufficient to comment on what to do about this. In section we lay out concerns for the initiative high momentum. Okay. Um, this is again um, they're writing about blah 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 things can be done skill india portal blah blah, blah. okay so the government is basically taking over uh, <laughs> wants to take over Every damn thing, every damn uh, tech uh, platform. Uh, okay. 
this is agriculture a green node see how uh, they have completely forgotten um, their uh, um, circles they they have only written the tech delivery platform they have completely forgotten the governance and the community thing uh, in these images so they have analytics they have crop advisory market based services this is their definition of community okay lending institutions governments where is the governance in this uh, where is uh, protection of uh, privacy where is uh, security where is uh, where is assurance that farmers are not being uh, 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 you know uh, taken for a ride Reducing transaction costs, overcoming lack of scale, bargaining power. What prevents uh, people from turning this around and making it uh, uh, farmers uh, being, you know, um, negotiating against the farmers? What prevents that? MSME. MSME lending platform. Trade service delivery. <laughs> okay. So this is becoming boring, but uh, we have about um, I don't know uh, about an hour to send a response. What's the section I just skipped? States. Uh, so in conclusion, they're saying this is a blah blah. You saw five hundred billion blah 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 blah. Okay, key questions. Please comment on the guiding principles. <laughs> Great principles, but you have not given any details. Are there platforms that you consider as benchmarks from a best practice standpoint? You know, best practice is uh, probably not to build a centralized architecture of a lot of things. The biggest challenges that may be faced in migrating. Should all delivery platforms be open source? bullshit they already know the answer to this they just asking is it okay if we make uh, things open APIs and open standards by our own definition of open no it's because it is quite common governance is a common governance framework required you know, this could be thinking about, uh, uh, imagine health, imagine you have something like the uh, personal data protection bill, which would be a common governance framework. Now apply this to health and it will become really complicated really fast. So they, they what they are suggesting is what if we, instead of having something like a PDP, which will protect citizens everywhere, um, what if we create governance in separate uh, departments Are you aware of any innovative financing models that could be deployed to build nodes no, some parents should raise the uh, one digital like this this related to data privacy yeah What types of overarching guidelines and the regulatory frameworks? I don't know, just sticking to the constitution might be good enough. What effective means to mobilize? Imagine designing a node in the context of the state or sector that you work in. Hmm. Okay, 
um, okay, let's go through this this may be funny Baba Jobs okay uh, this is a list IT4 change okay good to see IT4 change here back to switch Mr. next to I spirit um, better place CIS okay Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this is what they're asking. They're asking uh, you're gonna build a lot of things, centralizing everything, mm. connecting databases, and all that. We want to make it seem like we're gonna have a community around it and citizen center. Uh, uh, they didn't talk anything about. Um, I mean, they did talk about uh, transparency and accountability and all that. But I don't know citizen centeredness and technology being in the middle of the circle is uh, not really. I don't understand uh, how this entire thing can be citizen centric if they are first focusing on delivery platform everywhere um, I guess this uh, governance framework is only as useful as um, the laws and rules that are made and uh, the community here is actually a, a misleading word what they are meaning by community is uh, actors creating new solutions on top of core delivery platform end users providing feedback loop is through ratings and crowdsourcing idea so this is this is a waste uh, entry just to make sure make make it seem like uh, people have a say in this but act essentially the citizen is nowhere in this um, that's what i feel the governance is where citizens rights should be protected but uh, we have to see how that plays out in practice if they're gonna divide uh, uh, divide uh, frameworks and uh, put individual departments in ownership and things like that anyhow uh, there is about um, uh, some time to comment if you want fine see you bye bye